Thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. We're going to start out with those headlines and the things to keep in mind as we go through the upcoming seven days. Two rounds of wintry weather are ahead. One coming this weekend, Saturday night and into Sunday. It's just a clipper system. Usually these are more blow than snow, and that'll be the case with this one, but it could certainly cause some slippery conditions. Then Tuesday and into Wednesday, a more impactful weather system comes in, and it will bring some measurable snow to some of our area, a little bit of wind combined, but the fact that the impacts could be quite great on Wednesday, we've gone ahead and declared a first alert weather day for Wednesday. More on that in a second. This weekend's weather maker coming at us from the Pacific Northwest where there's a mixture of rain and snow in the Cascades as we head into our Christmas night. We do have increasing clouds in the western portion of the Dakotas, crystal clear skies for most of the valley and much of northern Minnesota right now with temperatures that are still simply Awesome compared to the wind and the cold that we've had that brought our wind chills down greater than 40 below. Whew, it's much nicer if for uh, anything outdoors. A current look at our Luther Family Ford camera showing quiet conditions in the FM area. Clear skies reported at the airport, 20 on the thermometer. And look at this. No wind. All right, now your forecast. We're going to go through two days to carry you through the weekend system, and we'll talk more about the one next week as well. First and foremost, this evening, temperatures slip into the teens. There could be some low clouds and fog overnight tonight, so be cautious of that. For your Saturday, it uh, looks like we start out in the teens. That's not too bad for this time of the year. The clouds, though, will be with us in passing throughout the day. Now, expect those temperatures to peak only in the teens east and 20s west, so cooler than today. And by late in the day, Certainly after the dinner hour, the way things are looking right now, a chance for some snow spreading in from west to east as we go from Saturday night. The best chance of snow here in the Red River Valley will be on Sunday morning. So that Sunday morning commute could be a little greasy out there. We're talking a little bit of wind from the north behind the system. The wind and the snow are not necessarily timed to be happening together. But still, slippery conditions into your Sunday afternoon commute. What we will notice once that wind picks up, a little blowing, a little drifting of the light snow amounts, but it will also bring falling temperatures throughout your Sunday. Here's a look at the snow path track and uh, what we're expecting for that timing on that Saturday night to Sunday morning snow. Most of us getting a zero, a zero to two inches uh, of snowfall, but there could be a narrow band that gets that one to three inch total. We can't rule that out. So we'll keep you posted as to that. First and foremost, for your day tomorrow in Fargo, temperatures rise from the teens, more clouds and sun throughout the day. And we'll spend a brief amount of time in those low to mid 20s for afternoon and slip back into the teens under cloudy skies. No snow in Fargo uh, until the late evening or overnight hours. Likewise, clouds for most of us, teens east, and for your Saturday afternoon, low to mid 20s to the west. We'll be seeing a lot more of these now that we have certainly gotten some winter like weather. Those uh, sun dogs are barking out there in delight. Here is a look at that Sunday forecast. Zero to two inches here in Fargo. I'm thinking closer to an inch again. Uh, we could see uh, uh, temperatures falling from the midday hour on. And then next week we start out that work week cold. We warm up briefly, but Tuesday we'll start with a good chance of some snow showers throughout the region. And it looks light. By Wednesday we could have some areas getting heavier snow. And then the cold follows as we head into your New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Here's one model's track of this storm. Notice the Tuesday snow showers by the European model. And that continues as we go throughout the day on Wednesday. So the greatest impacts will be on Wednesday with wind and snow. It will take a more southerly track and we'll keep you up to date with the track of that storm, Katie, as the system gets a little closer in time. Well, hopefully it's nothing too major where it starts impacting travel too much. Right. We wanted to raise the flag for you, give you that first alert, and we'll keep our eyes on it right here. Absolutely.